I'm Todd Macover. I'm a composer and inventor and professor of music and media at the MIT Media Lab. And I'm involved in all different ways of thinking about the future of music, music's interface with technology, and the way that music can impact individuals and societies in the most powerful way. So one thing I've been interested in is how to combine what advanced technology can do in, let's say, a recording studio or in a MIDI studio with the spontaneity and, and human communication of live performance. So we invented something called hyper instruments, which use uh, any instrument uh, that people know how to play, um, use a variety of techniques to analyze not only what's being played on the instrument, but how it's being played, so that the natural interpretation while you're making music allows you to explode and expand how you can play. So a cello, if I phrase something in a different way, might become a voice or a trumpet or an entire orchestra. And the interesting thing is that the same kind of technology can be a wonderful extension for a Yo-Yo Ma or a Prince, both of whom we've worked for. But the same principles can also apply to people who love music but are not musical experts. Because I can measure what anybody does naturally, like anybody can gesture, anybody has facial expressions, ah, anybody can do something with their voice. And we can measure those things and allow them to be an entrance into music. So for instance, the technologies that we developed for Yo-Yo Ma turned into the technologies behind Guitar Hero and Rock Band, which were taken by students of mine and uh, brought out and pushed in a different direction. Um, we make tools for children. And we also are really interested in allowing uh, people to create their own music, not just perform music. because. Anybody who likes music can also find their way to something which is personal to them. So one tool that we've developed is called HyperScore, and it's a graphical composing language that doesn't involve knowledge of music theory or music notation, both of which are great to know but difficult. Just use lines and color to allow anybody to start with a musical idea, draw it on a screen, use intelligence in the software to decide how to put things together, um, how to synchronize, how to decide where the harmonies or the tension of the music is going, and make fairly sophisticated pieces, push a button, have that music written out for regular notation so that an eight-year-old can write a piece for the Berlin Philharmonic or the Boston Symphony, or for that matter, for their um, middle school uh, rock band, which, which is happening more and more.